happy homemakers welcome back to another Amazon favorites video I did this video about three months ago and you guys really seem to like it and I totally get it because it is a little risky to order something online that you haven't actually seen so I'm gonna be reviewing everything that I've ordered for the past few months a couple things before we dive into the video first of all I will be sharing some Christmas presents of what I'm gonna be getting for Marcus and Chloe this year so make sure your kiddos are not around while you're watching this video just in case you get some ideas from this video. Also, if you are here for the first time, welcome. My name is Justine and on my channel I'm all about joyful motherhood, natural living, and an orderly and peaceful home and I'd love to have you be part of my family so make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my future content. For the rest of you, thank you so much for coming back. Please leave me a comment down below letting me know if you have found any amazing finds on Amazon recently as well as are you an online shopper when it comes to Christmas presents or do you still like to go out in traditional stores? I I would say I'm the latter, but ever since becoming a mom, it's online all the way. Last thing, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these Amazon hauls and any other content on my channel because it really helps my videos do so much better on YouTube and I can continue making good content for you guys. So now let's get onto the haul and I will be adding the links to the description box to make it easier for you guys to shop. I also get a small percentage when you guys use my links and I greatly appreciate it. I will also include my Amazon influencer page. That stuff is my very favorite items. Not everything makes it to that list, only the things that I really really want to share with you guys so check that out because that will have other things that aren't in this video um but the first thing that I got on Amazon and I actually saw this because my sister and I share an Amazon Prime account and she had this in her shopping cart and she never bought it she never bought it and so I finally just bought it and I love it it is a book that's called beautifully organized a guide to function and style in your home I actually haven't had a chance to sit down and thoroughly go through it but I've been able to flip through it and read a little bit here and there and I love it it's filled with so much inspiration the photography is gorgeous and it just has lots of great um, tips to help you keep your home orderly and organized but also comfortable and welcoming so I really love everything I've seen of this book like I said I haven't completely gone through it but tons of great inspiration packed in this book and I love it the next item is this ceramic pot I've been trying to put a little bit more real plants in my house I, I struggle with real plants so I've been getting like low light low maintenance plants and with that I've been looking for vases this is the first one I bought and while it is really nice it does go with my decor just not as well as I thought it would it is a nice pot but for the money I just felt like it was not exactly what I thought it would be in the picture it's kind of a little bit sloppily made in some places um, but it's still nice so I'm gonna keep it anyways but not exactly what I was hoping it would be the next item is something that I have mentioned that I've been needing for a long time in a couple of my videos and you guys asked me to review it as soon as I started using it and that is this toddler alarm clock first of all it is super cute I love the size and it just looks really cute in their bedroom. The light and the sound is controlled by this little button here, but underneath is where you set the alarm clock. You can set it for nap time, what time they wake up, um, and what time they go to bed. It turns red when it's bedtime, yellow when it's almost time to wake up, and green when it's time for Marky to wake up. And he is to the age where it totally works. It really, really helped the problem of him getting up too early and yelling for me and waking his sister up when it was still dark outside so it has been amazing the one thing I want to mention is it is really complicated to figure out you have to read the instruction manual but once you do um, it becomes easier but it's still a little complicated however after talking to my sister she does have the owl one that is really popular I got this one because it was a little less expensive than that one um, but she said that one is complicated to figure out as well but once you set it it's set and you're you're good to go you can put batteries in it and it does have a plug as well but it doesn't have the actual um, plug-in it, it just has like a USB wire that you have to actually connect to the port I don't I, I don't know if I'm making sense but um, it doesn't come with the actual um, plug so that was a little bit strange but we always have some of those laying around and I think I'm actually just gonna go ahead and put batteries in it because anytime it unplugs you have to reset it which again it's pretty complicated to reset so all in all, I do really love this one and I do recommend it. So the next couple items are also game changers and I'm just gonna go right into those because I'm so excited to share them with you. The first one is an espresso which is sitting on our counter so I'll just 
show you guys a shot of it here. We got the Nespresso Virtuo, which we are loving. I got it for my husband's birthday back in October, and he said it was one of the best gifts I ever gave him because it is so convenient. We love having the throffer, frother, the milk frother that goes with it because it um, just makes it so easy to make like a Starbucks quality latte, and it saves us a ton of money that way as well. However, a couple things that I learned about it afterwards is that the Virtuo pods are a lot more expensive than the original ones so if you guys want something cheaper I do recommend going with an original version and then also the pods come in two varieties a lot of them are just drip coffee and they're really bitter I don't like bitter coffee or bold strong coffee I like espresso for a reason so I just thought that our Nespresso was going to make really bitter coffee I was a little disappointed but a couple of friends who have the Virtuo machine said there's actually drip coffee pods and Nespresso pods which I don't know how I missed the memo but I would show you the espresso pods that we are getting now they're called the double espresso which you can find on Amazon but they are cheaper at the espresso store or their website so I recommend getting them there but they are more comparable in price to the original pods to the original machine pods and um, apparently they taste so much better they're gonna be delivered today otherwise I would have them in this video to show you so we had a regular espresso machine since we got married but that was uh, noisy and it just took um, a little bit more time than when you're getting you're getting up in the morning and you have to hurry up and rush off to work um, So this is definitely a much more convenient mess free um, Quick way to just get a Starbucks quality coffee, which is really nice when you don't go anywhere all day as a stay-at-home mom Anyways, I'm really sorry that I don't actually have the pods to show you guys um, Some of you mentioned that you didn't like that on my last video and I'm really sorry about that But there are also going to be a few more items that I mentioned in this video that I don't have because I've given them away as gifts But I figured that I will still give them because I'm still recommending the products to give you guys idea of what to buy I'm giving you a mini review on my thoughts on them. So I hope that you guys can bear with me on that I will try to put like a picture here or here so you guys can see what I'm talking about as well as including the links down below the next thing probably after the Nespresso is my favorite purchase on Amazon to date <laughs> this is something that I had been seeing online seeing people use on lots of videos and I finally caved to getting the Instapot it was on sale for Black Friday and I've been wanting a yogurt maker I've been wanting a rice cooker because I want to incorporate more brown rice into my diet but it's just it takes 40 minutes to cook so I never really wanted to make it from scratch but having this has been amazing I don't know why I just didn't buy it a lot longer ago because it is a seven in one it's a pressure cooker steamer slow cooker yogurt maker and the part that I am like really excited about is that it can saute food before you slow cook it so like with the traditional slow cooker you would have to have a separate saute pan saute your meat and then put in the slow cooker you can do all of that in this pot and the cool part about it is that the inner pot right here is stainless steel um, oh and another thing that I was like this is amazing um they I, I've used like an electric pressure cookie before but this one has a cooking timetable chart which makes it so convenient because I felt like half of the battle with using a pressure cooker is knowing how long to cook things because once you set it you pretty much have to let it finish cooking or else you lose steam you have to start all over again anyway so having that is amazing I don't want to spend too much talking about this, but I highly recommend it to cook the brown rice It does it on the pressure cook setting and it cooks in 20 minutes I think regular rice cooks in like three minutes something really crazy. Yeah four minutes for regular white rice So yeah, if you guys have been on the offense about getting an instant pot just do it It is so worth it. It's so convenient and it's really nice that I didn't get a yogurt maker machine and a brown rice cooker and a pressure cooker like it's all one machine so it saves a lot of space in the cupboard so highly highly recommend this it is not overrated it is amazing okay so the next item is one that style mom XO recommended in her last video and then I think Caitlin and I are also recommended in hers um this is the acti cover patch and they're just clear little stickers that go, they have like a formula on them, like tea tree oil and stuff like that. And so you just stick them onto your um, pimple, wherever it is, and it's supposed to make it look better overnight. I have to say I was a little disappointed in it because it does help, but not that much. The thing that it did help me do is to not bother them. So I would say, yes, they are 
good, but I don't know how worth it it is. So it's like $10 for a package of 40 patches. Um, so it's worth a try if you have acne to see if it works for you because it's not that expensive. But like I said, it helped me just a little bit. I'm not sure if it was worth it for me. The next item is one that I have given as a gift twice because it is such a fun book. Um, this is the Eat Pretty Nutrition for Beauty Inside and Out book. It just has a lot of great ideas and recipes and it talks about foods that are good for your skin, your teeth, your hair, your eyes. Um, so it just has a lot of inspiration on healthy foods tea and kind of gives you an education of why each food is good for you and what it does for your beauty. And it's just a really pretty book. That's why I love giving it as a gift. The next item is another one that I gave away as a gift. Um, my, my niece Isabel turned three last week and my sister said that she wanted some cookbooks that she could cook with her daughter. So I had the idea to give her a vintage cookbook because that's the one that Marcus and I cook with like we actually have a vintage Betty Crocker cookbook and the recipes are all fun pretty easy that the kids can just help you with but you can't always find those in the store so I went on Amazon and what I found was the 1957 reprint of this cookbook which is it is darling and I think that it's one that they're gonna really have fun with. I want a copy of this because it's a really cute size. It's a little bit smaller than this book, but I think just the vintage quality of it makes it so much more fun. And I love the Betty Crocker cookbooks because all the recipes are great. They don't call for any crazy out of the ordinary ingredients because at the time there wasn't all this processed foods available. So it doesn't call for ingredients like cream of chicken soup and just stuff that's processed like that. So I really love those vintage cookbooks for that reason. The next couple items are some equipment that I buy to film videos. Um, I needed a couple more uh, memory cards. This one is Alexar Professional 64 gigabytes. So I bought two of those and also the tripod that I'm using right now. Um, I get this stuff on Amazon because it just seems to be the best price. Um, the tripod is a, like an $80 one. I needed something that I felt was more sturdy and it is really sturdy. I'm not quite, like it's not as user friendly as I hoped it would be. But again, I didn't want to spend a ton of money to get one that like swivel, the head swiveled all over and everything. So this one is a decent one. Don't really like how the camera attaches to it. It's a little difficult to use, but other than that, it is pretty decent for the price. So the next items are going to be the Christmas gift ideas. A couple months ago, my mom and I each bought Marcus and Chloe some Legos because they are just getting older and they need toys that are going to keep more of their attention and we got the Duplo Legos and it really really helped. They are so amazing to have. The kids love playing with them. So I got Marcus a set of three dump trucks which they both love and then also a little policeman motorcycle and then I also got them just this. Um, this isn't like the Lego Duplo brand. This is just an off brand that was a lot less expensive. Um, so it's like 300 pieces for I think about $20 and it was such a great buy because it just gives them all that more to play with and build and more time for me to do what I need to do, which is awesome. So for Christmas, they wanted more Legos, which I kind of like the idea of adding two toys that they already have that will help them be entertained with those toys longer rather than having so many different types of toys that you have to figure out a storage method for each one because um, it just gets to be so much. So for Christmas we did get him the exact same thing just another box of it which I'm so excited to give it to him. That's exactly what he wants and then he also wanted the Lightning McQueen Lego set um, and these are all a little bit cheaper on Amazon than they are like in Target so I highly recommend trying there first and if you have Amazon Prime it's nice because shipping is free and then this I don't think I saw in Target but he has a choo-choo train set of Legos that he got from his Auntie Jenner for his for his birthday and he loves it but um, the train track you can only build like a circle so he wanted some more train tracks to build a bridge and stuff like that so I think he's gonna really really be happy about this and then for Chloe's Christmas she she loves the Legos just as much as Marcus does. What she loves to do is make cupcakes and birthday cakes and stuff with hers. And one time together we built like an Alice in Wonderland table and put cupcakes all over the table, but it was just regular Legos. Now every time I sit down with her, she wants to make a happy birthday party, which is so fun. So she is going to be super excited when I show her that I got this Minnie Mouse happy birthday set. It has a pink car and some presents. And the most important part is it has an actual birthday cake. So I think she's really going to love this set. Um, and then the other thing I got her, because like I said, she's obsessed with having happy birthdays and tea parties and stuff. So she loves cooking in her kitchen and I got her this Melissa and Doug 
um, triple layer party cake set. Both of them are obsessed with birthdays, so they'll be really excited that it has a candle as well. Um, yeah, I think she's gonna love this so much. I cannot wait to give it to her. The last item is a Santa Claus costume that I got for $36. Growing up with my Peruvian family, we would always celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve, and we would stay up really, really late just eating and dancing. And at midnight, Santa would always come, and like I said, make sure your kids are not watching because we are gonna talk about Santa Claus. And those are some of the best memories that I had as a child. And we are now really far away from that side of the family, but I really wanted to start the tradition with my own kids. So last year my sister and our family started doing Christmas Eve at my house and then we do Christmas Day at my aunt's. <laughs> and last year we didn't actually have a Santa Claus costume um, so Daniel just put on a plaid shirt and a Santa Claus hat and suspenders and my kids were glowing. Like they knew what he was supposed to be and they were just glowing about it. Um, so it was our, my niece Isabel. So Daniel sat each of the kids on his lap and gave each of them a present that day. Um, and it was just so fun. But this year I actually went and purchased this Santa Claus costume that was not expensive, but that would last a little more than a few wears. It was a set of 10 pieces, but it included like two little gift bags and a Christmas card and just some really random stuff. It was kind of weird, including two little extra Santa hats but it had the main stuff while it's not the greatest quality it's going to work however the beard that it came with I have to get a new beard because it's just like a poor excuse for a beard the kids have been playing with it because I knew that we weren't going to use it on Christmas but other than that the pieces that we are going to be using are of course the pants the Santa hat and the Santa Claus jacket it has a zipper closing here so I do oh and it also has a belt and then the boots are just um, they're not actual boots they slip over the shoes like that it's gonna work but I do want to get like a wig and beard and some glasses because if we're gonna do a Santa Claus like he has to actually look like Santa Claus for the price though I wasn't disappointed in it it's gonna work for what we need it for anyways that is the end of this video I hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did comment down below letting me know what are your plans for Christmas do you have any fun family traditions like that I love to hear about them thank you so much for being part of my YouTube channel I really appreciate every single one of you anyways I hope you're all having a wonderful holiday season and I will see you in my next video bye guys